Hey folks, hope you're doing good today and having a good weekend and all that stuff. Uh, we usually have punk here on a Sunday, but today we're going to have some hard rock instead. Uh, this first band up is called Sensation. They're out of Southern California. This track's called Sleeping Death. I wanted to rock out today, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, let's check these guys out. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Stereo, nice and wide, maximum width. It's got a great loud sound, prominent in your ears, punchy drums, loud vocals. Cool. Really fills your ears. Yeah, nice high quality video. This guy's got a nice full sound. Wide, thick, punchy, lots of layers of sound in there, backing vocal and stuff. Really fills your ears. Good energy as well in it, nice tempo. Nice and chunky guitar tone. Yeah. See quite a lot of guys using these solar guitars now. Never tried one myself, but I guess they're pretty cool. Working that neck. Don't you leave me, I will take you all These guys are just non-stop energy. Loving that. That's what I was looking for today. I thought, yeah, we'll have a nice rock out today. And these guys just slot in nicely. Yeah, good one. Great mix on these guys, particularly because it was nice and loud and nice and wide. Well, pretty much as wide as it could go. When you had a look down at the stereo there, you can see that the whole of it was filled with sound. Uh, and that's just, I think that's the best, honestly. It, uh, lots, of, lots of bands and producers like to kind of be a bit safer than that and tuck the, tuck the pan in a bit more. But I'll just love it when I look down because uh, I can hear it, uh, you know, coming through my ears. Now look down to the left there and see that the stereo is absolutely full of sound. And I just think, yeah, dope. Because the way that what that means is, is it way, especially when you're listening on headphones like I am, it just totally fills your ears with sound. It doesn't sound like this, the, the, you know, like I say, I, I say it's like a band on stage. It doesn't sound like the band's just coming at you from one direction. It's like there's a band there, a band there, a band there, and all over the place. And they're just hitting you with sound from all directions. Uh, and I just think that's the best way to represent the music, uh, especially when it's nice, high tempo, chunky music like heavy 
heavy metal and hard rock is. Uh, I think it just suits the music very, very well to have it nice and loud and nice and wide. So these guys did a great job of that. And because of that, it meant that the guitars had their own place within the mix. But not only that, they were nice and loud and punchy in your ears and a great thick guitar tone on there as well. It was really kind of quite heavy metal as well. Uh, these guys, you know, they're hard rock slash heavy metal band, I would say for sure. Um, but yeah, the drums were punchy, had a big washy cymbal in there as well. Um, and that all had its own place in the mix the vocals sat in there nicely as well and you could hear the bass as well so you know because you've panned stuff out uh, what you've really done is given it its space within the mix like if you imagine a band on stage instead of having them all scrunched in the middle of the stage you know they've all got their own spot uh, and that's just how it kind of comes across the years so I think these guys had a great mix and it served the music well because it was just high energy hard rock slash heavy metal very very cool i enjoyed it a lot now this next band i think this might be a one-man band tommy gibbons uh, and this track is called red flag so let's check it out more chunky guitars yeah looks like a one-man band but Super high quality video for it. That's dope. Never sure of the motives as I search for a reason. As stalkers and users have long been in season. Big slappy punchy snare in this one. Cool. Some modern mixing elements in there. If he's done all this himself, man, that's superb. With a high quality video as well. Love that. I got a real soft spot for one man bands. See on the stereo, this guy isn't quite as wide as the last guy's. He's still got a nice thick mix with that thick guitar tone, punchy drums. I think he could have put a bit more vocal uh, volume on the vocal, maybe, just to make that a bit more kind of punchy as well in your face. He's got a nice vocal layering in there as well. These extra mixing stuff. vocal effects in there as well yeah, they've had some metal edges to these bands today as well cool it's cool that you can play the instruments so well yeah that's what I find impressive about one man bands is they're not just a guitarist or a vocalist they're both those things, they've got to play the bass. Sounds like MIDI drums, but I'm sure he's programmed the drums as well. I don't know if he's doing his own mix, but if he's doing that as well, <laughs> that's what normally five or six or seven different people would be doing. And we've all specialized in each of those individual things. And this guy's doing it all himself with a high quality video as well. I mean, that's just dope in my opinion. If he is doing his own mix, I'd say just, you know, let your vocals come through even more. You've got a nice thick guitar tone, you've got nice punchy drums, you can hear the bass in the mix. 
but the vocals are just a little bit buried and that sounds cool but I think it would sound even cooler with them being even a bit more prominent um you know I think rock music you do still there's some styles of music where a buried vocal is the way to go black metal uh sometimes grind core and things like that but then there's other styles and genres where you really do still want that nice prominent vocal to be the center point of the music um and i think heavy rock hard rock heavy metal is still those genres where you want to have the vocal nice and prominent it wants to be the the kind of center point of the music um but still, you know, with nice heavy guitars and punchy drums as well. Um, you know, they're all kind of up in your face at the same time, I would say, in this music, is when it works best. So, yeah, think about that. I think the vocals were recorded well uh, and layered up well and had all of that stuff going on. Just crank them up a bit louder so they just kind of come across the ear with a bit more power and force. But very, very cool. I just want to see written, recorded and produced by Tommy Gibbons. So there you go. That is superb. You know, I give extra brownie points to people in one man bands, uh, A, because, you know, they've written it all themselves, they've recorded it all themselves and played the instruments all themselves, uh, but he's also produced it himself. And I don't know if he's recorded his own video or whatever, he's got mates who can do that. But anyway, that's a high quality you know high production uh, there's a lot of different things that have gone on to get to make this track and he's done them all himself uh, i think that's just super dope so yeah great job tommy gibbons really really it's probably one of the most high quality one-man bands and videos we've had on the channel so dope now this last one is jeff colson band so i'm not sure he might be a one-man band as well um, and this is jukebox hero featuring frank hannon so let's finish off with these guys bit of bass So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. That one guitar felt good yeah. in his hands. Yeah, I'm loving these lyrics. It's a pretty cool story. Cool. 
It's a shame we're not getting to see him play this solo. Maybe that's Frank Hannon. I guess so. Drops into this section nicely, it's got a good groove to it. Pull back in vocals to add some more width to it. Cool. I love that. The lyrics really captured me in this one. I think it gave it a really cool story. Cool. But yeah, I just I just got straight on board with it. You know, I'm a guitarist. I think if you're a guitarist, you'll just dig this track for the lyrics alone. Um, you know, when you when you first hear when you're a guitarist or before you're a guitarist and you first hear that band and see that guitarist that inspires you to want to pick up a guitar, it's a great feel. It's a life changing moment, you know. Um, and when you first get your guitar and you take it home and you start playing it and you want to be like whoever that was. For me, it was Kurt Cobain, and you know that was the guy that got me from radio music. And I heard, uh, you know teen spirit and all that stuff back in the 90s and I was just like wow this is a different sound I haven't heard this sound before um and then I, I got a guitar at 11 and it was just life changing you know it has changed my life it's why I'm sat here today talking about metal bands still uh, and still love guitar music and heavy music um so yeah you know getting your first guitar is really a life changing moment and I thought the lyrics just brought that across great they you know they were just the perfect lyrics to kind of describe what that feeling's like of when you get your first guitar and you imagine yourself being a rock star and for some people that comes true uh, even if they are just a jukebox hero in a local town you know or something like that um, but yeah I think it's really cool I got straight on board with that track from the lyrics and it just had a cool vibe to it I enjoyed how it dropped into that chorus and stuff as well so yeah I've enjoyed all the bands today it's what I was looking for from the from the channel today from the music from the bands from the energy uh, some nice kind of hard rock slash heavy metal you know chunky guitars lots of distortion on the guitars big punchy drums so we had some nice grisly basses in there as well uh, and some powerful vocals to go over the top of it also very very cool that's what i was looking for that's what we got hope you've enjoyed the show hope you've had a great week uh, we've had some great bands on the show again this week all sorts of styles uh, hopefully there's some in there for you uh, whether it's from grindcore to hardcore to death uh, and ending up with some nice heavy rock as well so I've tried to give you a bit of everything this week got another great week lined up next week as well so stay tuned hit that like and subscribe and all that good stuff other than that have a great weekend see you guys bye